All right. Well, it's day five, I think, of the uh, Ableton Live Learn It in a Week Challenge. I mean, I know that's super uh, ambitious. And I, I, it's one of those things where the more you dive into it, the more you realize that there's a lot to be learned and a lot of room to grow in understanding this as a creative opportunity, this Ableton Live software. But uh, so I sat down today. I, I, I think I said last time I was gonna, I was going to turn the corner from watching tutorials and uh, trying to understand it and, and then try to do some creative things. So that's what I did. Um, so <clears throat> I created this. I did some sequencing. I, I went in and I found some, some instruments. I got a MIDI controller here. So, uh, of course, it's not working now for some reason. Awesome. I don't know why. This is all frozen up now. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe you hear it and I don't. Well, maybe that's not true. Let me hit the space bar and see if this works. That works. Huh. Maybe they got converted to audio tracks when I did something here. Anyway, um, where was I? Well, I was saying I, I turned the corner from just approaching this academically and cerebrally and then turned to it as a creative thing. And I just started programming. I, I programmed a, a basic drum beat. It sounds kind of like uh, I need a solo that track. Sorry. I'm still getting my bearings here. And I, I programmed these. They weren't here initially. Um, I programmed them Gram them in and in real time over here. Um, I learned how to quantize. That took a little. I'm still wrestling with that, to be honest. Like I, I um, command A, I select all, and I was think I was doing quantize and had luck with that for a while, but then it wasn't quantizing right, and so I had to go to this. And sometimes when I changed this and pushed OK, then it would snap to where I wanted it. And I haven't found any tutorials on that, so. Uh, I'm still going to mess with it and try to figure out the right way to do that. I also messed with the uh, quantize incoming, record quantization. So I messed around with this as well. And uh, again, it was just kind of quirky. Like sometimes it seemed to record, uh, uh, it would quantize what I recorded in. And sometimes it, it seemed not to. So it was, this is kind of confusing on that. Anyway. Uh, what I'm getting to is I've recorded all these tracks in. Let me collapse these. It just looks confusing with all that non-existent automation showing. I recorded these tracks in, and uh, I thought that was kind of fun. So it ended up sounding like this, uh, he says. Definitely still hunting and pecking here, but sounds like I have something soloed. Figure out you hit the tab, it goes to the other view. It's kind of fun. Try it again from the top. I think space bar to start from the top. So I did this treating it like a regular sequencer software in more of an arrange view. But then you know, I started thinking, well, this doesn't take advantage of uh, Ableton Live, really. I mean, this is where your maybe your song is going to end up. But I wanted to know, once I recorded this drum beat, I programmed that by hand. I programmed all these tracks by hand, played a keyboard part in, a bass part in. How would I get those from there into this view? And that was so easy. It's not even funny. So the way you do that is you select your chunk here. Shoot, I'm moving around. Uh, how am I going to select my chunk? Of course, now that I go to show you, it gets all hard. Uh, say, say it's easy, and then I'm wrestling with it. Shoot, try this again. Okay, I think I got it selected where I want it. 
Ah, let me do this one since that doesn't have the little thing at the end. So I got this selected. If you right click on it, you can do copy. Once it's copied, I hit tab to go to this view. Then I right click. I forget what track I copied from, but wherever it needs to go, just paste it. And then it becomes available here. So I did some mess around with that. Then you could go to a different measure here. And then it would all be programming here using scenes that you've created instead of that time-based system over here. So that that's kind of what I was messing with, if that if that makes sense. I was figuring out how to extract the stuff I programmed in like I'm used to doing, and then try to get it into a more um dynamic um Use it usable system. Ah, uh, so yeah, I'm still messing around with this. Cool. Well, that's what I got this thus far. And uh, to be honest, I sat down and I, I said, oh, I'm going to do a half an hour, and I think that was about a couple hours ago. <laughs> so it just it's really fun. Okay, so I, I think there's one more thing I want to show you before I, I go. This is fun also. I wanted to show you this before I shut it down because this is not saved it's this is still demo version so but it's all right here we go um i'm going to delete all this see ya i think i have to save one of them it doesn't let me delete all of them it always wants to save one track so okay how did i do it insert yeah they can these construction kits check this out it has this little icon. It's not just a single clip. It's a multiple instruments. Then I want to kill this thing for my last session. All right, check this out. Oh, I missed that one. I think something was wrong like it it dragged these into my old tempo or, or something like that it wasn't quite right so what I'm getting to is it's it just give you some these constructs that have everything in there for uh, creating which is really fun let me put an audio track so I don't have a, a MIDI based thing here let's do one more then we'll call it a day so let's just grab a construct so this should come out to 80 beats a minute I don't remember what these sound like I had a couple of favorites, but I don't remember which ones they were. All right, so we lost our 80 beats a minute. So let's click there. 80. of fun to be had here and I'm really trying to figure out a way to purchase the full blown product <laughs> at this point. <laughs> this gets the free demo method worked on me because I, I really like this and can see the possibilities. Cool. Well, that's all I got here. I went a lot longer than I intended to, but I hope that you're having as much fun with Ableton as I am. Take care.